guys. So last week we finished our first Junie B. Jones book. So now I went to our library and got a brand new one. And it's called Junie B. Jones Boss of Lunch. And it looks like right here that she has on the hairnet. She's got um, a big ladle spoon. She's got the apron on. She looks like she is ready to cook, honey. Let's find out what happens. Okay. So... You remember, this is our title page. And this book, we've talked about it before. These books are fiction books, but it is a chapter book. And we talked about uh, most nonfiction books have the table of contents, but so do chapter books. It's going to give me the names of the chapters and what pages I can find those chapters on. So this fiction story does have a table of contents. Okay. She's writing in her first grade journal. So she's not in kindergarten anymore in this book. She's in first grade, just like you. Thursday, dear first grade journal. Hooray, hooray, it came, it finally came. Yesterday, the delivery man brought it right to my house. And today I carried it to school for the very first time. Right now, it's sitting under my desk. I keep sneaking down there to get a closer look at it. But my teacher just said to please stop doing that. Only guess what? He's not even watching me right now. So I think I'll sneak down there one more time and that will be it possibly. I wish myself good luck. From Junie B, first grader. I wonder what she's talking about she has. Look, there she is. She's a big first grader. She's got glasses just like me. Carrying her backpack. I put down my pencil and looked all around. Room one was still writing in their journals. I smiled very sneaky. Then I bent over in my chair real slow and I reached way down and I lifted up the lid of my shiny brand new lunchbox, hollered out May. Junie Jones just opened her lunchbox again, Mr. Scary, and you told her not to do that anymore, remember? May is the tattletale girl who sits next to me. I do not actually care for her. So now that she's in first grade, she has a different teacher. It's Mr. Scary. And this little girl, May, just told the teacher that she was looking under her desk at her um, lunchbox. My heart pounded very hard. I bent over even more, and I hid my head so my teacher couldn't see me. Only I didn't do a very good job of hiding, I guess, because just then I heard Mr. Scary's shoes walking toward me. Junie B. Why is your lunchbox open again? Asked Mr. Scary. Didn't I just speak to you about this a few minutes ago? I put my head down and I looked at the floor. One of Mr. Scary's shoes started tapping at me. Tappy shoes are not happy shoes, I think. Junie B, said Mr. Scary again. Do you have a good reason for opening your lunchbox again? I quick closed my eyes and tried to think of a good reason. Mr. Scary's shoe tapped harder. I opened my eyes and I peeked at him. And then, bingo! All of a sudden, a miracle happened. One of my eyes saw my napkin in the corner of my lunchbox. And a bright idea popped right into my head. I quick grabbed the napkin and I started shining Mr. Scary's shoes. Look, Mr. Scary, look! Here's my good reason, I said. See me, huh? I'm shining your shoes with my napkin, see? So that was her excuse for opening that lunchbox was to shine her teacher's shoes, or so she says. I shined and shined. This is the smartest reason I ever came up with, I said very proud. I smiled at him. Would you like some spit on the napkin? I asked real nice. A little spit makes shoes look extra gleamy. Mr. Scary quick pulled his shoe away. Ugh, no, Junie B, no spit, please. Just sit up, he asked. I sat up. Mr. Scary stared and stared at me. I wiggled in my seat very uncomfortable because staring teachers make me squirmy, of course. Finally, Mr. Scary talked again. I want you to stay out of your lunchbox, Junie B, he said. We have a rule in room one. Lunchboxes are to be opened only in the cafeteria. I did a sad sigh. Hmm. Yes, I said. I know the rule, Mr. Scary. 
but I wanted a real long time to get, I waited a real long time to get this lunchbox. And yesterday it finally came to my house. And so today is my first day of not carrying a plain brown sack to school. So every time I look at the brand new lunchbox, I feel happy inside. I picked it up to show him. See how cute it is, I said. My mother ordered it from a nature store. It has pictures of baby birds on it. See all of them? I pointed. This one is my favorite, I said. It's called an owlet. Owlet is the name for a baby owl. My grandpa Frank Miller told me that. I pointed at a different bird. That one's an eaglet, I said. An eaglet is a baby eagle. After that, I held my lunchbox way high in the air so all of room one could see it. See all the birdlets, children? There are owlets and eaglets and ducklets and chicklets, I explained. Look at this silly girl showing the whole class her bird lunchbox, disrupting the whole class. I put my lunchbox on my desk and I took out the thermos. And see the thermos, people? This thermos has pictures of birds' nests on it. Isn't that cute? May made a face. Ick, she said. Who wants to drink out of a stinky, pooey bird's nest? I made a face at her. I do. That's who, May, I said. I love drinking out of stinky, pooey bird's nest. She's so silly. May reached into her desk and pulled out a lunch ticket. Well, I buy my lunch, Junie Jones, she said. Bought lunches are better than brought lunches. Bought lunches don't sit around all morning and get soggy. I crossed my arms at that girl. That's the silliest thing I ever heard of, May. I said right back, brought lunches are way better than bought lunches because brought lunches are made special by our very own mothers. Mr. Scary did a frown. Okay, okay, girls, that's enough, he said. But May kept on arguing with me. For your information, Junie Jones, mothers are not professional lunch makers, she said. Mothers are just plain old normal people. I stomped my foot at her, because that was the final straw. Do not call my mother normal, May, I hollered. No one in my entire family is normal, so there. May started to laugh. Then some of the other children laughed too. I don't know why. Finally, Mr. Scary snapped his fingers at them. I put my lunchbox back on the floor. It was not my best morning. Here she is again, starting some trouble at school. That was all of chapter one. What do you guys predict is going to happen in chapter two? What's gonna happen? 